Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at erosion. What is erosion? Erosion is the removal of weathered sediment from the river by its forces. Now erosion is one of the three main river processes which we're going to look at. The other two are deposition and transportation. There are four main processes of erosion which we have to study and we're going to begin by looking at hydraulic action. This is the removal of loose material in the river bed or banks due to the frictional drag of the water on the channel bed. So here we have an animation of how it's going to work. Attached to the river banks at the moment we have some sediment and we have a wave representing the hydraulic action and force of the river. As the river moves along, the hydraulic action in the river is going to strike at the sediment, hence loosening it and making it fall into the river to which it can then be carried away. Next up is abrasion. This is the scouring and scrapping action of the load against the bed and banks, which then breaks them down. So similarly, we also have some sediment which is attached to the river banks. We also have some sediment which is not attached to the banks and is currently free flowing in the river. As it moves along, it will then strike the other um, lots of sediment which is attached to the banks, causing them to loosen and fall into the river to which they can then be dissolved or carried away. Attrition. Attrition is the reduction in the size of the load as they strike one another inside the channel. This then makes them smaller and smoother. So here now we have two lots of sediment which are currently not attached to the river beds or banks at all. They're just flowing in the river. As the water moves, eventually they'll hit into each other. And when they do, as they strike each other, they'll knock off the rougher edges and become smaller and smoother. Eventually, when this happens, they'll just dissolve into the river and we can't see them with the naked eye. The last process is corrosion. And this is what happens when the minerals in the rock are dissolved by weak acids in the river, which then breaks them down. So here we have some sediment which is free flowing in the river. Now, for whatever reason, a river may become more acidic. And when that happens, the acid will then dissolve the uh, rocks which gets into them and this breaks them down, which eventually makes them dissolve. Lateral and vertical erosion. Lateral erosion is the erosion of the river banks, and vertical erosion is the erosion of the river bed. Now, depending on the amount of energy and the amount of load a river possesses at the time, these will be happening at different rates. Firstly, we're going to be looking at vertical erosion, which is the erosion of the river bed. Now, this occurs upstream where there's more gravitational potential energy and a greater load. What happens is bigger and faster rocks will be carrying down the river, which then abrade the channel bed. This is because the load then scraps against it, which then makes it even deeper. So as a result, um, the free flowing river mainly concentrates on the middle of the channel because it's moving faster, it therefore moves straighter and it's not going to move side to side and hit the sides where lateral erosion would have occurred. Instead, vertical erosion is happening at a faster rate than lateral erosion. Now we're going to look at lateral erosion. Now this happens more often downstream where there's less gravitational potential energy and lesser load. Because the river isn't going to carry as much of a load, there's not going to be as much vertical erosion. Now that the river isn't moving as straight because there's going to be more meanders, what's going to happen is that the river is going to concentrate all the energy that it has to erode the side since there's no rocks which are going to be abrading the channel. Now there is still uh, vertical erosion happening here, but because it's not happening as fast, there's more vers lateral erosion than there is vertical erosion as it happens at a faster rate. It may still carry some load and it may still erode it vertically, but now most of its energy is concentrated on eroding the sides. Okay, so we have reached the end of the lesson now. What I'd like you to do is answer these questions and pause the video so it can give you some time, then hit play to check out the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. If you did get all four of them right, congratulations. I would advise you to move on to the next video. However, if you did not, just pause the video and go over your notes or rewind to check out where you missed the information. Then maybe have a go at answering them again so that you're sure you can be confident when you're walking into the exam. Okay, this has been the end of the lesson. As always, thank you so much for watching. And next lesson, we'll be looking at the Holstrom curve. If you want to revise any more for AS Physical Geography, be sure to check out www.revisealevel.co.uk where there's a wide variety of notes for many subjects which you can then revise for. Anyway, until next time, I will see you then.